Hey everyone, and welcome to the car. Today we're doing something really special. First of all, it's check-in day, which is different. Oh, look at this. Hi, I turned you around just, just in the nick of time for it to disappear. Anyway, number one, it's check-in day. New hotel, different hotel this time. You're not ready for this one. Where are we? Tampa. We're in Tampa, and we're showing you a hotel You'll see it later, but we're also on the road right now because we're headed to Tropicana Stadium. Yeah, hold on a second. I gotta roll down the window. I need to smell the ocean. Tropicana Field. Rays Tropicana. Home we're, we're, we're going to see the Rays so we can go see the Sox. Um, we are Pelican. Boston fans. Oh, Pelican. Oh my God, we're seeing so many cool things. We're Boston fans. We're making our way. And it's exciting because I know I keep showing you, but the ocean. Well, okay, it's not technically the ocean, right? It's technically Tampa Bay. Technically the Bay. But it's close enough. We come from uh, Massachusetts, grew up with the ocean being right there, moved to an island, ocean all around Sorry, us, <laughs> and then we spent a huge chunk of time living landlocked, so it is good. It is so good to see just water. Not a lake, not a lake, but actual water. <sighs> anyway, so um, we're gonna take you along with us for this little adventure today. I don't know exactly what it'll look like, but we're gonna take you on this adventure. We'll tell you a little bit about it, and I think it'll be fun. This is new. I'm really not someone who spent a lot of time going to see baseball games um, live and in person. I didn't grow up doing that. Russ did though. All right, so let's, well, sit in some traffic. Russ said we're a little late. Yeah, we're a little behind. Yeah, it was it was an adventure today. Um, while we're sitting here, I'll tell you, we are staying at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Yeah. And it was a little bit of a rough check-in today. A little rough we'll talk more about it when we talk about the hotel itself but it put us a little bit behind in terms of our plans to kind of get settled in and make our way to this baseball game so um we're we're paying the price a little bit right now although you know it's not that big a deal it's gonna be okay we're still gonna make it there in time and it's gonna be fun regardless but lots to think about when it comes to staying at this hotel um, we're gonna talk about it some other time but anyway back to the traffic all right we made it here is our parking spot in Tropicana Field lot 5 there are the baseballs. How excited are you right now? I am stoked with, with the parking. We always used to have to fight for parking spots and walk like a mile or whatever back in the day. And now we're like, you can throw a baseball into the field. It's great. I mean, it's a dome, but you get it. Awesome. All right. Let's, let's go. Get in. We're late. <laughs> They're barely playing the game tonight. Oh my God, it's terrible. But it's all good. It's a we great had a lot field. of fun. It was nice. It's a nice field. It was nice. The inside area was nice. There were a lot of different vendors with lots of different food. We only had one thing. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. 
I expected to eat like three or four more things. Nope. Yeah, we got one. So we'll have to come back and try other foods because there were yeah. some really great options. But anyway, let's make our way back to the hotel. That's it. But you know what though? It was a good night. I can't complain. Me neither. I really can't. I really like the fact that, that it's actually in a dome. It's actually kind of nice because you don't have to worry about any inclement weather. It was climate controlled. It was really yeah. nice and cool, which was 72 was nice. all day, every day. So. I'm sure it gets warm in there if that place is packed though. Oh yeah, for sure. But you know? it was, I, I feel like it was super comfortable. Yeah. So. Great night. We'll see when we get back to the hotel. All right. Almost at the hotel, but did you just see that? A giant rubber ducky? There's a giant rubber ducky out there. Anyway, making our way back to the hotel now. This is an interesting hotel situation because it is a casino hotel. And while not all casino hotels have you really entering the casino in order to get to the hotel, this one does. So it's a little bit, I don't know, I'd say it's a little bit different, a little bit interesting in terms of uh, kind of just enjoying anything other than the casino. We'll talk more about that later. I had a lot of thoughts, but here we are at the Hard Rock. Also, we're here with a pet, which makes this an even more interesting and exciting experience. More about that also to come. I feel like we can do probably an entire series of travel information surrounding pets. Like I probably could do an entire video just talking about traveling with a pet. Maybe we will. If that's something you're interested in, let me know in a comment down below. There's definitely a lot to talk about, especially when we're talking about places like this that are pet friendly, but have a lot of fine print. <laughs> so anyway, here's the parking garage. We are opting for Lucky Street parking. Of course, it is just before 10 o'clock on a Wednesday. Place definitely doesn't sleep, <laughs> so that's something to keep in mind if you're gonna be heading this way. But that's great. It's a great environment if that's what you're looking for. It's not gonna be for everybody, but I feel like staying at a hotel that's in a casino isn't gonna be for everybody, <laughs> just in general. So. Definitely. And there's not even any shows going on or nothing right now. No, it's kind of a slow time in terms of just travel you know so all right we are back in the room showered up we wrapped up our day it's actually really late it has been a really long day but it was a good one there were some stumbling blocks along the way today uh, we did run into some problems with the hotel at the very beginning and we'll talk more about that in the future course we're gonna give you a room tour and we're also going to do a room review as well and a review of this hotel as well so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss that I know that this was kind of just a quick like breeze through our day but unfortunately <clears throat> I feel like our day like we had plans for our day to be a little bit different than it ended up being we were going to come down to Tampa a little bit early, wander around some really interesting places, but some of the places that we went to turned out to be in locations that just didn't work out. One in particular was this little park that we thought would be a nice place to just kind of like sit for a little bit, have some lunch, and just wander around, but it was right next to a school and the traffic Oh my goodness, the traffic over there was out of control. So we didn't end up staying there very long. We really just sat down long enough to kind of collect our thoughts. And normally when we would do this type of thing, we would take you along with us. Like 
show you the adventure along the way, but things kind of went kind of crazy. Like it just, it was a little bit wild. So we were trying to figure out how to manage that and it was a little bit warm today. And of course we had Bandit with us today. So it was um, just a lot of moving parts that we had to work through. But I think we'll talk more about that later. For now though, as you can see, I am in bed. Russ is getting himself situated so that we can call it a night. Tomorrow is going to be an adventure. We have a full day of enjoying the casino, enjoying some dining, exploring some different parts of Tampa, and we're looking forward to taking you with us on that adventure. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I think that about does it. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Like I said, I know it was a short one, but hopefully you got a quick taste of Tampa, at least a quick taste of what our day looked like here in Tampa, and we'll have more coming your way. So like I said, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.